this, go back to the Digitech settings, go to settings, then go to audio routing, and you've got, uh, you got uh, two options in here, route to main, that chooses what actually gets sent to the main output. Okay, we don't need that right now. Uh, yes, we do, actually. And then there's the uh, center FX, which is, uh, chooses what's sent to the FX. So that's fine. All, so everything's sending to the, uh, um, to the FX. That's fine. All, all of the channels are sending to the reverb and to the, um, and to the delay. Route to main, we want to switch off all of the tracks. Okay, now. Um, so none of those are being routed either out of, uh, I don't think they come out of here either, but they definitely don't come out of the, um, uh, the, the plug-in main input, uh, which we'll see in a sec. So, but what we've got here is delay and reverb, you see. So they, you can switch those off as well, but we want the, only the delay and the reverb to come through. So what happens if we do that? Okay, well, let's uh, go back to the beginning. Let's light all those up again and just play it, you hear that? So what that is now is just the, uh, just, just the delay and the reverb. That's all that's being routed out to the main. So if we were to say, okay, so let's, uh, let's just delete everything. Oh no, let's just start from a new level. So we have, this one here is the kick. That is track one. We've got track, uh, let's see. Let's set these up so we can record everything at once. So they're all digitacked, and we will probably want another one. So this one is going to be track seven for the roads. This is going to be track uh, six for the hats. And then there's a piano on there somewhere. I think it's on track eight. Um, so yeah, track eight. And then we will we want the main part. So again, this ignore that FX part. It's a bit confusing, but uh, that's okay. So then we want to, we will record, we will arm all of these for recording. And you'll see, uh, wait, let's switch them all to auto so we can hear them coming in. Now, what we've got is these four tracks here are set to record the directly from track one, track seven, six, and eight. Um, so they record the clean uh, tracks coming in. And then this one will record only the effects. So. Let's, uh, they're all set ready to go. Let's, is another three clear yet? So watch. Okay, we're soloing that so we can't hear that. Okay, so that's captured a loop of everything. Um, so you can see everything's there. Now, let's, uh, let's play it. Oh, yeah, let's play that. And let's mute the, so that's everything clean. Oh, that's not on. And there's the effects. Now, I don't find this particularly useful because all the effects for all the channels are mixed in to one into one track now, which makes it difficult to edit. And recording things onto separate tracks is the whole point of editing. Oh, so uh, I prefer to do it the way we looked at earlier, which is where you uh, go back here, the audio routing and then just send everything to the effects, all the channels, uh, sorry, everything to the uh, main output, including the effects, and then just mute what you do and don't need. And it seems like a bit of a pain, but if you, uh, well, let's, let's delete these and see um, how that might work as a, how quick you can actually do this. So, digitact. Uh, we will. We want the the main input, and let's do the. Uh, uh, let's unmute the kick, and well, record. Okay, so we've got our. our well, we almost got it. I stopped a bit early, but it doesn't really matter. Imagine I didn't. Imagine I hadn't messed it up, and then we could actually let's get rid of that. Let's uh, make a duplicate of this with the same input settings uh, four times. So let's uh, duplicate this. I'm doing um, Command D on the Mac for this. Okay, we will arm this. 
we will, uh, it was number um, seven has the road, so let's do that next and record. And you can hear, what you, the kick you're hearing is coming from Ableton. Okay. And then we go here. So now we're going to hear, because these aren't muted, we're going to hear the, that both of those loops play as this one records. And that one is going to be the hits, which are on six. So let me just uh, hit re uh, record arm and hit record. Neat, right? Now, what if we were to um, it, uh, have a different pattern? So, pattern two, for instance. They're all muted, so let's bring them up. Okay, we probably don't want the piano on this one. See, so we've got a different Rhodes, uh, which is on number six, seven. So, if we mute everything but that uh, and go back to the roads, which I should have recorded this, given these names, but never mind. I think it was the second one I recorded. Let's just do that. Okay, so, and we record that. So, they're all muted, but there, record. Okay, that's done. Um, so that's neat. So let's unrecord arm that. And if we play, we've got all three tracks, and all of them have their reverb and delay in them, which you can hear in there. And that's it. Uh, hopefully that's handy. This is really, really easy to use. Uh, all you do is drag the Digitac plugin uh, to a MIDI track. If you've got lots of machines, if you had a Digitone as well, or, or some, I think the analog, uh, the analog boxes also do this. Anything that works with uh, Overbridge will have a plugin. So you could have a MIDI track for each one and then them all running in sync and all routed to different tracks. And theoretically, if your computer's fast enough, unlike this old thing, you can record all of them at once, uh, which is cool. Uh, then, you just record the loops in. As you saw, they all are recorded in sync perfectly. Uh, and they also stay in sync with the dig attack. So if you, if you like, you can also just use um, this as a, the, the plugin just to keep the two in sync. And you can have different instruments, of course, in Ableton. And you could use the, uh, um, the dig attack and just have it playing. You, know, you don't need to record it. And uh, oh, one other thing is if you want, you could, uh, let's do one more. Well, let's just change this. Uh, audio from um, external in. So I mentioned before I got a mixer. Uh, there you go, those are the inputs from the mixer. That's also me talking, so I'll have to shut up when I record this. But, um, or just cheat and do it that way. Yeah, that's better. Um, then you can record. You can use the synchronization of the plugin, but to record, you don't need to record over USB, you can record through the analog outputs. So let's see, let's, let's see that happen, uh, if I get it set right. Apparently I haven't got it set right. Um, what did I do there? Did I? No, so I will just have to shut up and... Oh yeah, I, did. I didn't turn it up. That's why. Okay, so let's now switch to turned up and let's try again. There we go, that's better. So now you can hear it. We were getting uh, a bit of phasing there because uh, we, I think we were getting the input from the Digitact as well as the input from the, like, that you can hear. But it was only recorded. Uh, it only recorded the the analog input. So let's listen to that. Uh, ah, it's because it's playing both. That's why. That's why it's facing. Well, that's the 
it sounds slightly out to me. Well, but if you were to record everything that way, it would all have lined up. Um, yeah, look, you can see in the waveform here, this one is right over to the right there, and this one of the same recording is slightly uh, out. So you could, you know, you can fix that. And that's it. Uh, I'm going to go. Thank you.